Hi everyone, my name is John Leitch and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about Azure Maps in Power BI. If you have never used Azure Maps before, you have to activate it first. So come here under File, Options and Settings, Options, and then come to Preview Features, check Azure Maps and press OK. Here it will ask for a restart, so press OK and restart your Power BI. I'll be back in a second. OK, we are back here now. So let's load first our data. So I'll click on get data here and I have a data inside a CSV file. So I'll select CSV, connect, then I have the database here. And when it loads, I'll click on transform data first because the number format here is not the way I want. So I'll transform the data here and you can see I have a name, a phone number, the coordinates, the size and also the group. So I'll select here under the latitude, I'll change the type to text and replace current and the same thing on the longitude, replace current. Now it's in the format I want. I'll close this and apply, wait for it to load and the right panel here you can see that Azure Maps is now enabled so I can click here to add this to my dashboard here and now I have the Azure Maps. Here we have a disclaimer saying that it's a third-party software called TomTom where we get our maps. Also if this is not working for you check if the firewall is enabling the Azure Maps connection. Inside the documentation I mentioned before you can see the link you need to enable. Now that we have the tool here let's add our data. So here I'll grab the coordinates and put them in the respective place. Now we have our map here loaded and you can see that I still have some more information I can use. So inside the legend I put groups so they have a certain color and inside size I'll add size so I can see them in different sizes. Now this size could be sales amount, could be how much they represent in your database, it depends on what you want to see. This is the basic configuration you need. Latitude and longitude are minimal, so you can see the dots, then you can group them to change their colors, and also you can use the size here. Besides that, you can also click here under format to change how it's being shown in your screen. So here in bubbles, I can change the minimum and max size of the bubbles, I can change the transparency, I can outline them so it's easier to detect the bubbles in your dashboard, I can change outline transparency and some other information like width, I can blur them but I don't think this is optimal and some other stuff. Also be sure to know where you're going to publish your map because some services or apps don't allow Azure Maps to be run. You can also check this information in the documentation inside Microsoft's website. That's it for Azure Maps in Power BI. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.